Here we will be looking at an interesting transformation called inversion. A transformation is a geometric relationship or correspondence between two sets of points. In inversion we have been given this circle and it divides its own plane in three sets of points. Points outside, on and inside the circle. Then inversion gives us a way of finding the inverse of any arbitrary point P using the following construction. We join the point P to the center of the circle O and on that ray OP we find a point T such that the product of the, the distances OP and OT is equal to the square of the radius of the circle. For example, the two distances OP and OT are 18 and 8 respectively. So their product 144 is the square of the radius 12. Inverse uniquely links every point inside the circle to a unique point outside the circle and vice versa. Here the points P and T are called inverses or images of each other. Of course, we did not restrict ourselves in transforming just single points, but we can also invert curves, say a path followed by point P to a path followed by its image point T. So let us give this point P a circular path. And we will observe what kind of path is followed by point T. So as P moves along a circle, T also moves along a circle. And another thing to notice is when P is outside, T is inside and vice versa. Now let us see what is the effect of changing the distance between these two circles. So I am going to change their center distance to say 25. So they come a little closer. And now when we move point P, T also traces a circle but a little bigger one. And if we continue that trend, so if we change this to say 22, then we will be getting a circle which is still bigger. And you might have guessed what will happen if we make this distance say 20, thereby making the path of P pass through the center O. Then the distance OP will become 0. And to keep the product of distances finite, OT will have to become infinite. So T is at infinity and yet on a circle. So it is on an infinitely large circle or a straight line. This is the idea kinematicians use to construct exact straight line mechanisms. So they create mechanisms which model the process of inversion into its physical form. And then they make this point P move along a circle which passes through the center of the reference circle and thereby its image T moves along a straight line like this. So we can see that over here T is moving along a straight line. We will see the exact straight line mechanisms next. Mostly they are all six bars or more.